circumstances and land direction now. So now, the first important detail is Salida, lift to up your partner for don't change the balance. So now, my free leg is my right. Just I transfer my balance on the left, in my right, sorry, and then I use a pivot to change her direction. So now, I return forward, I go forward like this with her. When she touch my foot, I lead the game backward. And then I transfer my weight again. I change the direction, and then I go forward again. So when she touch my foot again, I lead backward like parada, and then I go backward again, and she go around me, and walking forward, in line of Show you one more time, a little bit more faster now. I take, I take my time and then I lift to up a little bit. So now, check where is Georgina's position. My leg is not in the same, in the same line with Georgina. I need to create like triangle. Like this, this balance is like a triangle, okay? In my feet. So now, when I move my leg, when I move my leg, it's very easy to change the direction. Everybody see? So that's the move. So now, when I transfer my weight forward, I chain one more time and I use a shock absorber here before to go forward together. Hmm? So now, when I lead her, just I chain her direction. My weight is behind and then I chain one more time the direction. I go backward with her and then I chain the direction one more time. So and then she use a door. So and then I go forward again and repeat the same figure like this. And then I go backward again, and then I change the direction again. Okay? So now, ladies, pay attention. This movement of go, going forward and backward is how many times the man wants. We need two, can be three, can be just once. It's your decision. So now the man lifts me so I can stay in one balance, in one leg. Then when he turns me around me, I can decide to just stay on the same spot that I can catch the door, or I can move my free leg, whatever you really want. And then he leads me again to a forward option. Hip rotation, remember that the impulse in the hip is what makes you pivot. So as soon as you receive the lead from them, the torso and the hand working at the same time, you answer the lead in your hip rotation. So then you are ready, the feet is turned out enough to go forward. If my feet is not turned out enough and my foot is like that, and then I go forward, I will pull out of balance my partner because I can't project, so I need to hold on him. So keep the turn out. Then step forward and project with the backward leg impulse to go forward and step on the heels naturally. Change the flexibility immediately. Are right to touch the foot or not? You can also just hold that. It's your decision. He lead you back again. Hip rotation. Keep the turn out when you go back. Impulse with the front foot using the heels. Going to this cross is also an ornament. So it's your decision. And then again, an ornament before I do my next pivot for my next forward option and continue for the parada. So now, next step, I lead her parada and then I change my position like this. So now, I collect first and then when I go back, I don't transfer immediately my back. So I just put my leg and then I lead her. So and then the front is a quebrada position, no parada. That is parada. This is quebrada. Quebrada means more near your partner. If I am in parada, I'm far away. So because remember. when the quebrada, when it's the quebrada, your weight is forward. So this makes us to be more close to each other. When your weight is backward and it's one parada, we are more far away each other. Okay? So that's why he decided now to keep the weight forward more like a quebrada so we are together in a closer brace. But the weight is not. The, the weight is the more forward. 70% forward and 30% behind. 70%, 30%. 
So now, in that position, I wait until she cross forward. So now, when she go forward, I transfer the weight with her. You see? I'm transferring my weight with her. So now, after that, when I change, when she change the balance, I change one more time to the left. I use my double pivot that you working before. And then just open side and continue your walk in line of dance. So one more time together, one more time, vamos. Very slowly, all the step now, and then we practice together, vamos. Salida, lift up. Change the direction, change the direction, forward ocho, touch like this. Go backward again, open your leg, check, remember the triangle, try to remember the triangle. Lift one more time, reach on forward, and go forward again, touch again. So now, parada, collect, quebrada position. So you go forward, ladies, change your weight, be careful. It's like you turn around, you turn to the other side, and then open side, and then resolution. Okay? Lady, remember that all these people that I am doing here, when, when they lift me, and then I pivot, and I pivot to the forward and then I go, you can just decide to be collect without a dollar at the beginning. So then, when you are sure about the movement, you feel okay, the balance, everything is, you can add the adornment. So now at any pivot, you can just do very simple like this, with no adornment in between. On each pivot, put your feet together, put your feet together, put your feet together, put your feet together, see? Very simple, at any pivot, just use you collect and you pivot normally with your feet together, with the heels together, touching each other. So then you can add the small adornments in between and make it pretty. Now in this position, when I lift this movement, I show you very slowly. When I lift to up, I use this part in my arm, this part in my palm. So I use this movement, so then it's easy to move my body with her. So then, when I change the direction, my point in contact is no anymore in the center, it's in the side. But I don't need to open my partner. So I just you keep your position like this. So because I use a contra motion, remember this movement in my torso, I'm really in close embrace in, in my open position right here with her. So now when I lead forward, I'm return forward again my partner. So now I'm in close embrace again. Everybody see? So hmm? original contact point. So now when I lead backward again, it's no more original point. And then I go backward again. So now in this position, again I'm lift to up for chain one more time the direction, the whole foot, hold the direction, and then I return again forward. So when I go forward, return to my neutral position, my original position in close embrace. So and then after that, when I backward, I change my position here, and then I use the quebrada forward. So we are in point and con. So I lift up before I go forward, and I open side to collapse. Okay? Then my projection, my torso is towards them, okay? But my contact point cannot be this. Otherwise, if I try to keep this contact point, I cannot do the right thing. We have a limit of twist, a limit of torsion. Otherwise, it become unhealthy. So we go forward, project forward, step on the heels. The power of the backward leg is what it make you impulse to arrive to the pivot. And then we, when we do the pivot, we come back to the center of the contact point, the original contact point. Then hip again to return back, so to pivot the feet. And same thing happened that you switch again your contact point. Then you go back and pay attention to the backward leg. No rotation the foot leg, just keep turn out. The turn out is the position right for hand balance. Then inputs with the heels of your front foot. This is a very important secret. Many times happen that when you go back now, because there's not enough inputs coming from this leg, and then you want to go back and you push slightly back. And then you push and they can't keep the balance. Now this is a movement delicate for the balance. So 
when you go back, if you remember that the front foot pushes into the heels, then this transition will be more powerful and you don't need to push in or to uh, move in the chest to have more input to going back, okay? So after they turn and return and they continue the same movement, so any switch you will be in, any pivot, you switch the contact point and you input right the movement and you pivot by using the hip for the input. I go very slowly all together. Qué lindo que es el tango, ¿no? Vamos a bailar. Pasiona.